All right then, gang. So we already saw earlier how functions work with the options API using TypeScript. Now let's try adding them inside the setup hook right here. So ultimately, I want to make it so that our jobs can be reordered on the page, either by the salary, location or the title. So what I need to do is maybe create three buttons at the top up here in the app template so a user can click on them to order them in this way. So let's create those buttons first of all above job list. So first of all button and we'll say order by title and I'm going to do another so let me duplicate this. This is going to be order by salary and then duplicate it one more time order by location. Alright then so we need to attach a click event to each one of these, which is going to fire a function to essentially change the order term that we want to order these by. And that order term is going to either be title, location or salary. So let's first of all create this function. So down inside setup, I'm going to say const handle click is equal to a function. And inside that function, we're going to update a bit of state to keep hold of an order term. So that could be title, location or salary. And then we're eventually going to pass that into the job list so we can order the items by that term. Now we need to take in an argument here, which is going to be this term. Is it going to be title, location or salary? So let's take it in. And what type is this going to be? Well, you might say string and yeah, that would be fine, but that would mean we could also pass into this function something like hello and that makes absolutely no sense. I don't want that value to be passed into this function. So instead, I want to create a new type, which is going to be a string, but only one of three values, a very specific string, either title, location or salary. So what I'm going to do is inside types, create a new file and this file is going to be called order term ts. Now I'm going to create a new type. So I'll say type order term is equal to location or title or salary. So now we're basically saying that this order term type can only be one of these three strings. Now we have to export this. So export default order term. All right then, so we have that type. Now inside app.view, I'm going to import it. So let me duplicate this one and change job to order term. All right then, so now down here, I can change string to order term. So now only one of these three values, title, location or salary can be passed into this as an argument. And then what I'm going to do is create a bit of local state using a ref to keep track of the order term that we choose. So const and we'll call it order, set it equal to a ref and the initial value is going to be title. So that's what they're going to be initially ordered by. But then we're going to pass in order term right here to type it as a generic argument. So not order type, sorry, order term. So now we're saying that this can only be one of three values in the future, title, location or salary. All right. So inside this click event, what I want to do is take the order dot value and set it equal to the new term we pass in as an argument right here. All right, then. So now let's return this function handle click and we can use it inside the template. So I want to attach a click event to each one of these buttons and then I'm going to say handle click right here. Now I'm just going to copy this and paste it down here a couple of times. So we have it for each button and we need to pass in the term each time around. So this one is going to be for the title, then the salary like so, and then finally location. OK, so this is all fine. And watch this. If we try to pass in a different type of string like locations, well, that is not one of the values inside this order term type right here. And that's only the things that we're accepting as an argument. So we get an error. So this limits the argument to one of these three values, which is what I wanted. All right, then. So now we have this functionality whereby if we click on one of these, it finds the function that passes in the arguments inside this function. We take it in and we update this local bit of state right here to be that term. 
So we're keeping track of whether a user wants to order by title or by location or by salary. Now, what I'm going to do is return that down here, the order, this bit of state, so we can pass it in as a prop over here. So I'm going to say order is equal to order, like so. So now we can accept that inside the job list component. All right then, so down here where we have the props, let's do a comma after the jobs one and also take in the order prop. Now this is going to be required, so we'll set required to true and then we want to specify the type. Now remember, this is going to be a JavaScript type, then we can use type assertion using prop type as well to say that it must actually be the order term. So we'll say string and then we'll say as prop type and then order term like so. So now this prop must be one of those three terms. We also have to import order term for this to work. So let's do that as well. Duplicate this and change job to order term like so. All right then. Finally, I just want to output the order term in the template. So I'm going to do that above the UL paragraph tag and then I'll say ordered by and a place order in here. So let's see if this works. Now when I click on one of these buttons, we don't see it. I'm just going to refresh to see if this works. Yep, now we can see this. So ordered by title. If we click on salary, it changes to salary, location, salary, title, etc. So this functionality all works now. Now in the next lesson, we're actually going to reorder all of these using a computed property. But for now, all I want to do is head back to app and just add in a few styles to style these buttons. So I'm going to paste these down here. These are directly from the GitHub repo, the course files. And what I'm doing is styling the buttons right here with a color, margin, border radius, etc. But also we have a header and an order div that we're styling as well. Now that's not in the template at the minute. So let's create that. I'm going to create a header tag first and then inside that a div with a class of order and then inside that I'm going to place all of these buttons. So let me cut them from here and paste them in here. All right then. And the reason I've created this header tag is because later on we're going to have a site title in here as well. Now if I save this and preview up at the top, these buttons look a little bit nicer and they all still work. Awesome. So next up, like I said, we'll use a computed value inside the jobs list component to actually rearrange these items based on the value of that prop.